Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial video guys, we will create an employee class in Python programming language. Before we start, I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers, silent viewers and supporters in my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. So let's get started. Okay, so we have here employee class in Python. Create a class called employee. Second, use the init function to collect the employee information, name, email, mobile. Third, instantiate the employee class with two times with different information. And then lastly, fourth, display all the properties of the object. So we have here the code. Um, in this code, um, uh, we will declare no, several values here so class employee uh, function definition init self name email mobile so pangalan is the name of a person email and then self mobile contact no contact mobile so i create i create an object jp for jcomparada and then we have here jmail that uh, jcomparada jmail .com, the email address and then the mobile number the same thing with the uh, second person, JSP, Jacob Samuel Pumperada, the email address and contact number, mobile. And then to display, F, JP, pangalan, JP email and JP contact number or mobile number which represent the person of Jake Pumperada. And then for the second person, JSP, pangalan, which represent Jacob Samuel. JSP email for jam, uh, email of Jacob Samuel Pomperada at contact uh, JSP contact for the mobile number. Don't worry guys because I will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code for free in my two websites. Okay, let us run the code. Okay, so we have here the output for Jake Pomperada and then for Jacob Samuel Pomperada. So what is the purpose of this tutorial video? Actually, the main purpose of this tutorial video, guys, is to teach you on how to how to declare classes, instantiation, creating an object, and then the properties of an object. This is the fundamentals of object-oriented programming, particularly in Python programming language. As I said earlier, I will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code for free in my two websites. Okay guys, so this is the end of our tutorial video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Don't forget to like, share, and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake saying bye bye for now.